podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. I'm down here in the H Town. Hey, hey man, where it all go down? And guess what, man? DJ is in the building, man. What's going on? First oh, time man. on the set of Boss Talk 101. What up, what up, man? I'm always on the set. But, you man. know, I be in the background a lot of times. I don't never get no shine. But it's all right. I'm here Man, I just, wanted, I, just want, I just wanted to sit in and talk with you just a little bit, man. Uh, man, you 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 know, uh, it's, it's it's different down here this time, man. It's it, What's up? <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? We're not in the building, man. Hey. We're not in what's going on. Spencer, what what are we doing today? Who are we today? You got an alter ego going on now. The blue haired goddess. The blue haired goddess. Yeah. What the, we? Tell me about this. What 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 made the blue haired goddess come out? Um, what makes the blue haired goddess come out? Man, it's she a whole savage. She a whole she savage. She's savage. She blunt. She speak her mind. She say whatever she want to say. She get on stage and act a fool. Wow. Do she sing or rap? She raps. Oh, she raps? She a rapper. She a rapper and a fashionista. Wow. Yeah. You know, because I, you know, I, I've interviewed Renetta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Several she times. Cool. She cool. She can sing. <laughs> <laughs> she can sing. Yeah, she say. Renetta cool, she could sing. You know, I just feel weird, like, 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 damn, like, what's going on here? Like, is it what's going on? You know, like, she could sing. Like, she, this is third person talk here. Third person talk. That's hard. You ever seen the movie Split? Yeah. Boom. This is Split, but there's only two personalities apparently. Man, let's let's get down to it. I I, I brought listen. I don't know if you know this guy, but I brought DJ on the set. Mm -hmm. uh, he definitely uh, seems to want to wanted to interview you. This is he, this is first wow. time on Boss Talk said, and he wanted to interview the blue haired goddess, I'm the blue haired great. goddess. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted, I was really wanting to dig into your mind and see why you decided to have an alter ego for your rapper. Um, to be honest with you, it's because it's surprising to most people. Most people super surprised. Some don't even know that you know this alter ego. Can rap. And then when I start to rap, it's like, oh, 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 she does this. Yeah. So, so have you, have you, do you have anything out? Any, any, any videos out? Man, like I just released a freestyle called The Venting Session. And we, um, Ooh. yeah, we shot a little we'll cypher to it. And it's just me being that alter ego. It's a whole nother personality. Okay. So the alter ego, and, and, and so you you just going in. Going in. Could you, I mean, cash. Acapella a little bit of it for me, uh, just the way, yeah. Give me an acapella of the lyric. Let me see. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I'm back again. Okay, what? <laughs> I don't mean to sound <laughs> arrogant. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I'm back again. This is implying that she was a rapper before. So let me let me hear it. what. The, give me the next bar. What oh, it say? Oh, so we gonna we gonna die. Uh, yeah, it. let's go. Okay, let's see. This is a whole genius setup, but we on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. So hey, it's, it's a genius. It's a genius. Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's get it. This is a genius breakdown, but this is a Boss Talk One Hundred and One breakdown. Well, I, I feel like if we get into the genius, little co-writer over here should should help me because he he's sneaking. Ooh. I want to hear this uh, this sixteen. I think you. I mean, just give me not even sixteen. Give me four bars. Let me. He won't, he won't. Okay, you want the beginning, the middle, or the end? I don't care. I just give, want him, give him the hardest part, which is you know, just just talk this shit. Wait a minute. Stop for a second. You make me. Th you give me an Ike Turner feel. <laughs> you just, what you, why I gotta be Ike Turner, man? Yeah. We. Here. Yeah. When you say now, you sing the song. Uh, talk that talk like I told you to talk. What? Talk that. Talk that talk. Who talking to talk? Anyway, <laughs> we are gonna get back to the boss. He trying to. He trying to get me. It's all right. It's all right. You know you gonna have to. You know you gonna have to send either a video after this, right? Oh yeah, for sure. The video file though. 
Let's go. Get the, get the ball. I, I just want to hear a little bit of it. Okay, so it goes. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I'm back again. And this time I am coming for the fucking win. And you ain't got to pretend like we are best friends because honestly, I forgot your name. She, what's your name again? The moral of the story is I'm on my fucking mind. You niggas really think that y'all are fucking up my grind. I thought I was crazy, but you niggas done lost your mind. I ain't one for fake shit. I really just don't like your kind. Bars. Damn. <laughs> I just want y'all to know y'all can go get this everywhere. Right now is hot. Yeah. That's like hard. That. That's hard. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> when you when you decided to come out uh, with this alter ego, I mean, was it something where you felt that way because because of the way that you are as a artist? Definitely, definitely. Um, I did a show at the House of Blues, and I don't know. It was just something about the rap and my my my, uh, my tater tot over here. Dang it. <laughs> I thought we, I you thought we had enough yeah, to tater tots. Like, yeah. nah, I wasn't nah, going to tell y'all, but when you start hearing tater tots and all <laughs> that, man, as y'all know, Boss Talk 101, you know, it's a, you this Miss Jamaica and ECO. Well, today is DJ Renetta, and these, yeah. these two are definitely, uh, they're, they're, they're one. Yeah, we one. I think Damn this man. was a setup. He knew about the name, put me in this brown sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was a setup. I ain't going to lie to you. But it's all right, though. I, <laughs> so, but you. it's hard though like you know just to just, just to come down here i want to say first of all thank you both man for inviting us in man showing oh, us the love that y'all show us show me and my wife down always, here man. we always gotta say that let's keep it one million one trillion yeah, one sure. gazillion around this thing you yeah, know what i'm saying you. so thank y'all we just, i just gotta say that man you know it's big love definitely man and saying it vice versa right back at you Always, man. Anytime y'all come in town, bro, just hit us y'all up. Y'all know. It's Mikasa always love, man. Well, you know, we kicking it, though. We we come down through here, man. We set up, man. man it's love, man. Like, yeah. we come through this whole, it's love, bro. Anytime. Hey, man, every time we come to the D, <coughs> this man right here and his wife, Miss Jamaica, always take care of us. You know, they make sure we good, make sure we get home safe. You know what I'm All saying? This is and a even, whole family even, thing, you know. You know? we're just chilling, we get a text from either Miss Jamaica or E. Just taking on the family. Yeah, Always, because that's man. what you're supposed to do. And this, this is something I take serious as far as from when God put people in my life. So, like, I mean, if I was a young nigga, it'd be different, man. But when you get my age, man, and you still ain't figured it out, what you supposed to be here, what your purpose is, what you supposed to be doing on earth, man, I'm supposed to be helping these people. So from the people that God put in my life, and he said, you need to deal with them people, that's who I deal with, man. So it'd be in it. From ATL to New York well, to right. it be Thank you know you what I'm saying? Right. Like it's like all of y'all yeah. it's like showing love because I my ministry is just helping people to be able to see clear. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, understand more love on another level. Hey. That's yeah. real, right? Yeah. That's so we and we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna talk that talk. We're gonna do everything and then some. So let's get back to it though. So this when you think about just your your whole, what do you want from this, the, the rap side of this whole thing, man? man Talk to me. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I actually didn't know because I didn't want to step into rap because I figured, I really felt like if I stepped into it, people were going to forget about the R&B side of me. But that's not, my first love. But then they show super love with the rap. And it got to the point where people were calling me for futures to rap, not to sing. Wow. That's so I was like, okay, I can, I could potentially turn this into something good. Then the blue hair came into play, and it, the blue hair goddess came into play from fans. So I just ran with it and get. A, you always get your fans what they want. That's you know, hard. You don't never ignore them. That's, that's what make you. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. You, that that is what make you. Um. So, I mean, your talent. Is something else, man. You've been around all of these different rappers, these different artists. You'd have, you've seen them do it all. And when did you, I mean, was you sitting back in the booth talking about, oh, I can get that nigga. Oh, that nigga, they're doing his thing, but oh, I could I could take that nigga out. You see what I'm saying? I feel you. Hey, man, listen. You're supposed to be competitive, hey, right? listen. I've seen Renetta in the booth in the same room with some of these big name rappers and get on the same track and absolutely destroy some people. Wow. I mean, I'm talking about to a point where boys go back and rewrite their verse. Rewrite their verse. We, we and this this ain't the first before. rendition of Renetta being a rapper. There was an episode where we went through Roll With The Lips. Yeah. That was the first time. That was when I was on like a big freestyle kick. Like I was at home practicing, just seeing 
how, like, what can I do? Like, how can I play with my words? How can I mix and match my words? I got a rhyming dictionary. Because I don't want to just keep saying the same thing over and over again. I wanted to use bigger words, expand my vocabulary. So I would just sit at home, pick empty tracks, and me and him pick a topic, and we go back and forth, boom, 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 boom. And then I was like, you know what? I'm dangerous with a pen and paper, so I'm going to stick to what I know. And I'm just going to pen and paper and just write it out, go for it. And it works for me. Wow. Man, I just want to say, first of all, man, DJ, man, ever since I met you, man, I never met a dude that was so supportive of of, of his wife, of his lady, you know, like, I never met that. I never seen it like that, man. So kudos to you for figuring it out. Usually, you know, because I ain't going to lie, Miss Jamaica not here, but if she was, I, would, I wouldn't bite my tongue. You know, basically, you know, it's a thing where people, when you've been married and been with somebody for a long time, you lose the the communicative link, you know what I mean? Right. You don't talk That's as much. Yeah. You basically, <laughs> you, I mean, you know, you, you can start to be in the same place and but really not be tapped in the way you were once. Right. So you got to practice doing that, talking to each other and, mm. and you know, work that. So, but I see something special in y'all. When I, from the very beginning, his support system for you is, it's unmatchable. Oh, I, love it. I love it. It ain't, it's not every day <clears throat> that you find somebody that, you know, supports as much as he does to the point where he's now your manager man yeah. I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you man a, a lot of this the support system that i put into place for renata man it came from us doing a lot of different events going to things before i was really pushing her and you know seeing where she could really go i would just sit in the back and just watch how things was going and you know i just saw a need i just saw a need for something and i saw something that I could have done that was a little better than what was being done before. So I took that step and I made sure that everything that we did going forward was better than what she was doing previously. And I'm super thankful for it because being a female rapper is dangerous. People don't understand it when I say that. But being a female rap is dangerous because what I've experienced is it's not the women that hate on you. They actually congratulate you and push you. It's the men. The men will come after you. Yeah, They'll do it. the smallest things. We did a show, and the DJ got up there, you know, after he saw how I was rocking with the, cl- with the crowd, he sped my music up. So I'm rapping five times faster than what I normally do, and I'm looking at him like, why, like, why are you doing this? But the one But thing, I ain't going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to be twisting this thing. You playing with the right one. Oh, yeah. like so he, speed it up. He, he sped it up hard, too. I mean, and Renata just... I'm going to keep going. I'm going to eat. I mean, kept <laughs> eating. Why would he do that? Man, you know, when people be, you know, I ain't, I ain't calling out no DJs or nothing, but you know who you are. <laughs> when, um, when people try to sell slots in between the slots that was already proven, that's when you get to start speeding up the time, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Some people fold, want to stop the set and everything, and, you know. Yeah, I've had people stop the set. So you telling me you telling me people out here deliberately sabotaging? Uh, oh yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, all, all the time. time. That just come with the territory. That's that's all, all the time. time. That's horrible. Or uh, you know you will be we 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 did a show where it was a couple of big names in there, and um, again it was the same response. I got up there because when I rap, I'm not staying on stage. I get down and walk around the stage. I want you to really enjoy what you what you pay for. And um, I've had some big name rappers down here pull me inside and be like, I don't like it. I don't support you as a rapper. Cool. Don't. But we still going to shine. I got paid for this show to rap. So it's known no name people to just oh, call yeah. you. Known name people. Or uh, pull my father aside and be like, I don't support your daughter with this whole rap stuff. You need to tell her the same. I'm not rocking with it. And my daddy said that like, you know, you a grown man coming in here talking to me to about a, my child. Hate? Hey, it's a lot it's, of it's haters just, out here, it's man. It's just dry hate. But I take that. I take that experience, and I go and write a song about it. And then I perform that song where that person is in the room. You're not going to stop me. Wow. At all. That's hard. I got God behind me. You're not going to ever stop me. Can't, Can't stop you. Can't, Can't stop. Never. Won't What's stop. What's for me is for me. Can't no man take it. So when, when you guys, uh, when, you, when did you decide to make DJ your manager? Yeah, he. 
I ain't making my manager. I just kind of he did bogarted. It. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when you see a need for something and you can feel that need, you kind of just step into that role. Man, you know? we had one show go go a little south. Uh, we was on stage and middle of the night, boy, it was bugs coming at us. We was in San Marcos, Texas. Let me tell I'll never you. forget this night. I'm on stage running from flying bugs in the middle of basically the desert. Bro, we in the middle of nowhere. After that show, it. all my other shows is never the same. He stepped in. Yeah, we in the middle of nowhere. It's bugs flying around. You know my wife, she... Yeah, I don't do it. I mean, do I love the Lord and his creatures. But bugs, I don't... Uh, uh, nah. After, yeah. that, after that show, man, I really was like, you know what? We're going to do this right. We're going to get the business right. We're going to make sure that we're setting up good venues. We're going to make sure that we're doing good shows. After that, we went on a roll. We got with Pokey, did Sensei. Yeah. Um, shout out to um, Boss. Yes, big Dama shout Shea, out you know? to Boss. Man. Um, she took care of us on that and got us over there, connected with Pokey. And um, after that, man, Renetta was just on a roll. You know, Sensei was smoking right there, you know, and then we just kept going. Uh, we ended up doing the House of Blues show after that for June 27th with TRX and Gorilla Gang. That's hard. Man, and we, you know. House of Town Network, 97 yeah. on the box. Yeah, we did a bunch of stuff. I don't know what he did, but it's just he had all, me busy. It's all about making good relationships. You know, some people, you know, do things and expecting the money right up front. You know, thank God I got a job. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, we, don't, we don't need the money up front. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything is about a good relationship. Without good relationships, bro, you ain't going to go nowhere. No you know what I mean? I agree with that 100%. So we just try to make sure that anybody that we come across and, you know, we see potential in them, we see good in people, man, we make sure that we make a good connect. He and a little just, pushy, but I'm thankful for it. Hey, you got to be. It, yes. Wow. It's, man. it's time so, to get so sleep messing with this one. Do you ever hear one and you be like, nah, I don't like this song? Yeah. It's a it's a lot of that. You know what I mean? It. Right now, man, Renetta can tell you, it's some songs that she got right now I absolutely hate. You know what I'm saying? But she love them, but they ain't out because I hate them. Man, my, my daddy told me something um, a couple of weeks ago. and He said, it's always the songs you hate that go places. Very it's true. It's never the one that well, He's saying they're they definitely going places for him, away from his ears. They, yeah. they are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but you saying somebody out there like, somebody out there somebody gonna, gonna love it's, it. It's never the one you think it is. It's always your fans got they got weird ears and you got like so I said you got to listen to them. Do you play it anymore? Or you just don't even play it around him because you know he don't ride with it. Nah, she still play it. She don't angry. care. Yeah, she don't care. Slide through the house in socks. I could tell you right now, the radio do it to us all the time. They keep playing the song yeah, over and over. Yeah, over once again. you know it's repetitive. Once you keep playing it, keep playing it, keep playing it. It kind of catch on. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Then you do a song though that to that uh back uh back front back I side to side did. right front back. Yeah, she did. Did you and you post you what what happened with that? So that is the next one to drop. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you know, EU's supposed to play a major part in that song. Well, no, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't do me right on that, man. Well, I got good news for you, man. I got good news for you. Right now, it's right down the street at the you know legendary Harvey Love. Shout out to Harvey Love. Um, it's he, in the process of doing the track. Last, and we gonna go in here and put it out. Yeah. Really? We gonna we gonna yeah we got we got it. I got it. And uh, that you thing. know, I had already said you need your cameo on the video. You know, hey so. man, you know. Oh yeah. So you, we you, in there. Yeah, you was first to call on my list. You see that? I see that. I'm coming through, nigga. Don't even trip. We need now you I'm on a slab to... or something. No, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm coming through. I'm not no slab driver, though. But just got, to get your camera. You ain't got to be a slab you driver. Ain't gotta no, drive you got to be a slab driver. I'm going to bring that 72 SS. Let's man. go. Hey. I'm going to bring them double stripes down here, man. Hey, yeah, let's get, get, get my cameo, nigga. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, yeah I, might, I don't know what I'm going to do, nigga. I don't know if I'm going to just stand in front of it or what, nigga. But yeah, I'm sure enough coming. I, I love that that's song. The, that's and the I love next that legacy. To come. That, was a, that was a freestyle. We did one night, just put a track on and just went fed on it. That's going to be hard, man, too. Man, so so you you gotta think about it, man. You guys, y'all got something special, man. You keep working, man. You you am. you was on the original uh, uh, Big Mo Bar Baby mm -hmm. uh, as as, and I know you hear this every single interview, but it's something that the history has to be spoken to. Yeah. Like people don't know. Like a lot of people, when I tell them, then they oh, that's how they get the all moment. Yeah, I'm seven. So I mean, yeah. 
I'm gonna be 30 in a couple more months. So. <laughs> you say, yeah, no, that was, that was a long time ago. But fun fact, most people don't know that there's a remix to Bar Baby, and I was eight years old and I was rapping on there. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where is that? It is all over streaming platforms. It's the Bar You've Baby. seen it? Yeah. You've heard it lately? Yeah. It's on YouTube. Like, you can go on YouTube right now, listen to what I'm singing, and they had wrote me a little rap. And I was terrified. Yeah, I was terrified because I was like, "Dad, I don't want to be a rapper." He was like, "Do it. Just, just, just do it." I'm gonna have to show it to you, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Some people don't even know, man. She on actually the new remake of it. Shout yeah, out to the little, little flip. flip. I flip seen flip, that. You know, I, I seen that. I knew it because I'm oh. looking for it. It was oh, fun. Yeah. How it was, was it making that with, with Flip like that? Man, look, Flip is is amazingly talented we learned so much about him that night in the studio i went to his personal studio he's an artist he paints really we've been, we've been there like, twice actually let me tell you not paint he paints the he man love is yeah. talented i mean and, talent, uh, he talented. heard me rapping you know it was only right to let the freestyle king know that i rap and i needed his stamp of approval and he approved it he approved it to the point where he played the song like two three times and was like yeah do it Break the door down. I was like, okay, Flip told me to break the door down. I guess, I guess we're really gonna do this. Wow, yeah, it's hard. Too. This was, this was, man, being Big with shout out to Flip. Yeah, being with Flip that night, man, it it really put a lot of stuff into perspective on the way that that man thinks and how he moves in the game. You know, genius. Yeah, his, his mindset is brilliant when it comes to the business. It was amazing though. Like he, it's amazing. You know, the way that he redid that last album, he took all of the classics from, you know, Screwed Up Click and Rec Shopping them and just redid them in his own way. He redid Man so hard that it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, I think that's probably man, my favorite song. Bar Baby, album, All right? About like, My man. Dough. He redid all his favorite Rec Shop classics. And let me mm-hmm. tell you, he redid them. I think your daddy on that album, too. Yeah, he on All About My Dough. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, that's, so that's it's real you know, hard. It's, it's, a, it's a lot to that. Wow, he got both of y'all on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On the original song, kind of like did. me. Yeah, yeah, I got both of y'all on both. So. Hey, hey, yeah, it's, it's the definitely. first to do it. Yeah, I was the first. I'm like uh, a soldier boy, and uh, yeah, I was first. Yeah, you first. I'm like Ray J. Yeah, you know, you, you <laughs> was a you 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 was the first for a lot. The the father and daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Renetta and the God, the blue hair goddess. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, yeah, DJ and Renetta. Yeah. yeah, I mean, honestly, B, you 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 know, Boss Star, you getting a lot of stuff out of us that people don't even oh, know about right it's now, of man. The love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, this is a podcast though, like a real podcast. Like yeah. this ain't no, this this is what people do. You know, I don't yeah. know if you guys follow like like I'm. I follow all of them. Like I be listening to Joe Rogan and all these different people, and there's so many different kind of ways that we should be doing this. Right. I mean, our people. We're building brand. Right. Uh, this is something you shouldn't just do once. You do this all the time. All the time. Our people need to be seen. Our presence yeah. need to be known, and that's why we here in Houston, down here with y'all. Yeah, we making our it. presence known. Hey. You know what I'm saying? We hear it, y'all. We yeah, I'm gonna crank up now. See, y'all, okay, hey, let's y'all crank too low key for me. I let's gotta get going, up. man. Let's See, I could have been a rapper. Who you say you is? The what? The blue hair guy. Okay, well I'm E, the CEO. So hey. I'm gonna I'm do a 16, which I want you to go yo. Uh, we on four, four bars, four bar, four bar. I, I mean, guess hey. so. You gonna you gonna put a track on and yeah. we just gonna go to it or what? Yeah, no, I think I'll wait. I just mean <laughs> right, cause I'm about to say, hey, Nobody don't get us turned up, man. Rapping. Yo, don't get yeah, us turned up. He really? He be hey, rapping. He be in the bars. It's a reason Renetta rapping now, man. Is you know a she's lot of just, people don't know, she'll man. She'll go in. Hey, them Couch Chronicles is a killer. She'll go in. Not, go the, in. not the Couch Chronicles. Man, them Couch Chronicles, bro. You get there on a good Sunday afternoon, man. Get, you know, feet kicked up on the couch. We got a recliner couch at the house, you know, the other house. We got a recliner couch. That nigga couch say the there. other house. Y'all didn't catch that. That nigga <laughs> say the other house. You know, hey, nigga man, don't really you know, just hey. holler the other house. You know what I'm saying? Like, who hollers the other house, y'all? Hey, I'm no, just saying, that's man. Them, hey. that, that's, them, that's them folks, man. Them folks that got these songs running around here living <laughs> their life. Living their best life. It's a living song. Living best life. Oh, it's a song like that, huh? Ain't going back. Hey. Lil Duval, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> man, but, um, I, I love I love the fact that y'all, like I said, man, and that beautiful daughter y'all, man, y'all got y'all got it going oh, on, man. Thank I you. Appreciate you know, family it, man. is so important, man. The Bible talks about, you know, every episode I gotta give you something. And we love it. It Great. says uh uh 
Two is better than one. Better than one. And a threefold card is not easily broken. Mm-hmm. This is true. That's is family, true. man. You know, they say hey, the triangle is the strongest object. And that's what we got. You know, we that's so we got a triangle. Man. You know? Family, man. Family, like, man. You know, honestly, that's why Renetta's album is named Trinity. That wow. The, the trio. Shout out to you know Dougie I mean? D. <laughs> yeah, Dougie oh, D. Oh, yeah. Shout out the, to Dougie D. Yeah, Dougie D. 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 Three amigos. Dougie was like, "Why don't you just say Trinity?" Okay, you know. I see. I see what you did there. Yeah. All right, we gonna run with Trinity then. Wow, you know, being in rap is something where you feel like people are being targeted a lot of times. Mm-hmm. We just had a, a, a massive killing down here um, with a mega star. Um, yeah. uh, R.I.P. Takeoff. Take yeah, off. rest in peace, bro. How, how, what did you think? Because you, you, you live here. You from Houston. You guys are from Houston. What crosses your mind when you hear something like that happen? Because that don't happen down here every day, does it? Mm-hmm. No. Nah. It, it was, it was shocking. At first, I thought it was fake, so I have to Google things because you know people be doing fake news. And then to actually find out that it did happen here, I was like, dang. Like, come on. I ain't going to lie, man. You can't take this ill. Like, I ain't going to lie. The way you got to move in Houston is very, very carefully. Yeah. You know what I mean? Always pay attention to who you with, who in the room with you, and what issues they have. You got to do your research before you go anywhere here. I try you know to stay I mean? super humble. No problems with nobody. Like, wow. it's, a, it's a lot of times, man, we done been in clubs in some very hairy situations. Yes. And I always look for a back door. If we go into a club and there is not a second way to get out, I do not perform. Wow. If yeah, there's we'll, one way we'll in, leave. one way out, I will go in. Because people know my deposit is not recoupable. So if I see that there is one way in and I got to struggle to get out if something happened, I got to get back to my baby. I can't do it so respectfully. So the next week, Kodak Black supposed to come down here. I don't know where he was at, but he, they say you know, he, 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 he was squabbling down here like, uh uh-huh. Uh, you know, that nigga had like a style where where he would roll it up. Niggas say he would roll it up on niggas ducking and dodging. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Last time I seen Kodak, he was up on the Monica. I'm just so, saying. So what? what I don't what, know. What, what, think about that, man. He might have been I mean, squabbling with something. I mean, that's not nothing new. It's been a lot of big name rappers come down here and, and fight. Like who? Uh, they had what Wayne come down here. Look, Wayne. Yep, Wayne. And Wayne had a fight. Yep. Uh, it was another who was he big fighting? Thing. I mean, he's, he's. We don't know. Mm. Oh, he, he just, just made it up to the hood, and the next thing you know, he on TMZ talking about you squabbing. I ain't gonna lie to you. This the city where niggas get their chain snatched at all the time. What? <laughs> all right, sauce. No, I'm just saying, uh, <laughs> niggas get their sauce. chain snatched all the time down here. Yeah. Hey, hey. people got to get you gotta this move stuff properly returned. here. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I showed. Yeah, hey, that tuck mine in. I don't, you know, I think you're gonna be all right though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's a right. reason why we don't wear a lot of jewelry everywhere we go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't need no problems anyway. You know hey, who that was had to get that chain returned by uh, yeah. the Houston N- man NBA, himself? NBA young boy. Yeah, he said he had the keys and everything to his house. Yeah. yeah. Had to get, hey, had, had to, to, had to make phone thing. calls to get it returned to him, man. That's crazy. Hey. I didn't know if that was real or what, bro. Oh, it was real. It was real. Yeah, it was real for sure. I'm telling you, man, Houston is that city, bro. You it's gotta really watch to the where point you go. Where if I do a show, I really don't want to wear no jewelry. Mm-hmm. And if I do, and they snatch it, this costume. Yeah. I'm just so wear. y'all know, we be shining and everything. But it ain't real, so just I mean, don't even waste your time. Yeah, like, yeah. I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even no, scared to say either. it ain't no, real. Man, everything like, fake. Everything don't even I'm come just saying, bro. It's no, the reason we, they call uh, it costume. Yeah, we ain't, yeah. we ain't got no real jewelry over here. Yo, we just running around this whole fake jewelry. I'm jury. just saying, hey, we be yeah, shining, yeah, bro. But look, it's for the cameras. The look, they ain't real. That's it. Don't okay. trip. Okay. Don't, don't even trip. Cheat. Dog. They cheat. No. Hey. Look, you take it. Just be careful with the soap because your neck will turn green. I'm just saying. Right. Hey, That's and it's it. thing from what I understand. <laughs> it's thing. When that start turning green on your neck, I'm just saying, don't let the sun hit it because it's gonna burn. It's gonna okay. Burn. Boy, boy, boy. Now there was a time, you know, I did, I did wear like a lot of jewelry, and then when I started moving on my own, it just felt stupid to be. This small a female out here, majority of time at night. I don't want to get my head 
knocked in. It was uh, like around the holidays. I don't even want my wedding ring. I keep it at home. Wow. I'm, yeah, it's a man. Listen, doggy dog world. It's yeah, crazy. It's out a here. doggy dog. It's a doggy dog. Now, hey, I you know I just want to just just ask this question, right? I just want to ask this question. Uh oh. When did you understand that Renetta was really a force to be reckoned with in this industry? Man, she came down to the first time I met her. I don't, I don't have it. Don't take no damn. <laughs> they don't take no damn genius to hey. figure that out. I do. You act like you've been asked a real complicated. I just want to ask you a question. I do, man. I thought it was like, I thought it was going to be heavy, too. I it thought that old video, I'm sitting there breaking it myself. Voice. No, 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 no. Say, no, no, nigga, that's it's an it's easy people. question. The way that you, the way that you, you know, every time you show us love, man, it's, it's genuine. You no, brought no, us she's dope. But you brought us to Dallas and you turned us on to a whole show. A lot of people don't know about that show. Yeah. Right? We came to your, to your podcast. We came to the store. You know what I'm saying? We came to the unique fashion. We've been locked in ever since. Been locked in ever since. We did that first interview, and you called us base. Hey, man, I need y'all to come back and do this show for me. Yeah. Oh, that show was everything. Too. Man, y'all Boy, killed that show. Y'all, y'all helped so many people. The man. most fun I have had in a very long time was at that show. I was able to be in my. You helped a lot of Ronetta. people. Like I just feel like a lot of people, they all was freaking out because they didn't even realize who you was. And, and when they like found they it was, out, it was so they embraced the hell out it of was, it. That was beautiful. They was like, man, they couldn't believe it. Like that's when I serious? fell in love with Dallas. I'm not gonna even lie. For real, I, I made I, I made that happen. I I still love Dallas, and I still communicate with a lot of the a lot of the people like Jay Carlos. I still talk to him. for real. Yeah. That's hard, man. Yeah. yeah. So 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 I kind of made y'all. I kind of connected y'all in. Yeah. You did. Made y'all like the old city. Mm-hmm. You did, man. I, I ain't just, gonna lie. That's just. That's... I, I mean, I just felt like it was something that, like I said, people don't know the business, but you know, we look at things different, man. I put that together. Boss talk, you know. Um, didn't want, didn't expect nothing back. You know what I mean? It was didn't, I, 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 I appreciate y'all. Y'all can't jumped up, came, no questions, no problem, running. You know, um, all the and it was the first time to put Dallas and Houston and East Texas together. I thought that was big. Man, and the collaboration yeah. was just so. It was nice, beautiful. man. Like everybody was in there, like they knew each other. Like the atmosphere. And nobody didn't know each other. Nobody so nice. knew any. They just anybody. knew up, knew me. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I'm being real. That was crazy. But yeah. the atmosphere was so nice, even with the live band, you know what I'm saying? That was that my was, favorite part in that. Really? Live band. The atmosphere was dope. I was man. able to act a fool on that little stool singing. Like, that was my favorite part. You right know, there. that was, it was dope. It was yeah. dope. I didn't know. I thought I didn't even know. I said, y'all probably, yeah, y'all was cool with it, but I didn't know. I'm like, I didn't know if y'all was like it or not. I just yeah, was man. doing it. I hey. because I, but I knew it was electrifying to everybody that was there. Mm-hmm. The people who was in there that was watching the show that was there. That was yeah. amazing. They they loved, you know, every bit of it. You know what I mean? So I think that was hard, man. Um, man, like I said, we're going to do it again. Let's, I was let's, just going to oh, say. Yeah, I was about to say, let's, 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 let's do another one. Because, look, put, I know somebody that come through there and sang, sang, named Kitty James. Kitty James on that. Thing. Yeah. yeah, but I I already had told you about what I'm trying to do with a song with them with her and some more girls. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you know I'm yeah. down from different cities. So mm-hmm. that, that's something yeah. I'm Let trying to I'm trying to get it together. Let's I already know all the girls. I mean, it, it's I'm gonna come sing my little heart. Eh? It's Let's gonna go it hard, out. man. I mean, it's gonna go hard. Like like I already know it. It's gonna be rap though. I want the oh, Blue Air Gardens. Bars. I'm there, Bars. Yeah, bars. See, 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 I'm going to call out. The, we already did that other thing. We're going to do this this yeah, time. Bars. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Since we back on this rap, Ooh, right? Since we back on this rap, I heard that you were doing a full, like, venting session, like, run. Yes. So you're going to continue the venting session that you put out already? Yes. So there is going to be um, a venting session part two. So I'm just going to do it in parts and... Who knows? It might be part five. Just a small disclaimer. Team. I I know I manage her, but she do what she want. Yeah. So sometimes I don't know the answers to these questions. So I get a chance to ask now. Sometimes I just wake up with ideas and I'll pitch them to everybody. Mm-hmm. And uh, if everybody agree with it, then I'll be like, okay, cool. This is the direction I'm going to go. And then I also have a thing where I show my music to like the people that are close to me. And if they nod their head, I'm like, cool. But if they don't, I'll be like, ooh, okay, let me let me go back and reevaluate what I got going on. Wow, that's hard. And then I'll put it out. Yeah, I realize you you don't work with a lot of people down here, man. You the big the greats, uh 
I, the, whoever you you took opportunity to try to be a part of, yeah. you you create a Houston wave, a Houston sound, and I want to tell you thank you for it. And and DJ, I appreciate you for bringing me into your world, man. Oh uh, man, showing me love, man, like you did, man. Everybody here love you. So man, keep doing what you're doing, man. Anytime I come down, I love here, you. I love you. P.O.P. P.O.P. All the day. Hey, I heard Sean got a couple more years. Why you that old man? God, you got that old horn, man. Boy, that thing, that thing's serious. Man. Hey. They no, say, man. They say I drove the getaway car. What? <laughs> but I can't see. I'm legally, I'm legally blind. blind. I'm legally blind. Man, I said Mama, it. I love you. Every time I see her, and she, when that little strain part come in, I say, P.O., P.O., she better cry, my That's nigga. She better cry. She better cry. That'll go hard when she do that. I don't know. She, I ain't know what. They <laughs> told me she had died. I got so sad. Now they saying she back. Yeah. Nah, yeah, they say so she only she, got a couple she, more yeah, years left. She getting out more. She got 235 days. Man, I'm like that. I, I mean, that's need, a, if y'all, anybody know her, long get long in the comments long. right now. Get me her uh, address. On, I'm going to put some money on her books. I'm going to write her. I want her on Boss Talk 101 when she come home. I got to get on Boss Talk 101. Somebody know her out there. I know man, somebody. Get, her, get me her info. Uh, man, that girl went hard. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person right now that's out here. You know, it is one that I do care for more than her. And I wish I could get her. And uh, if anybody know her, get her to me, Southside Shorty. Or South, oh, South, what, South Park, Park Shorty. South Park Shorty. South Park Shorty. Go hey. to the nearest Timmy Man, Chance, South bro. Park Shorty is one of the funniest people on the internet. Hey, for me, man. man, look. Hey, we got a funny story about South Park Shorty, bro. First time bro. we walk into Timmy <laughs> Chance, bro. Hey, every time we usually go through this drive through right? Man, we walk into Timmy Chan. We sitting there. It's a Sunday afternoon, bro. She slid up on me. In her heels, baby. She had her boots on. Now look, <laughs> I didn't know who she was at first, right? South Park, Shorty. Hey, hey she, man. She, she tapped him. Hey. Say, Shorty, what's in your pockets? What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You need some money, so you know I'm. I'm like, she don't place you like you that. Yeah, you need five dollars. Here, hold on. Let me get what you. What did he say? Man, she look. Like, Man, I don't need your money. Nigga, like, I just wanted to know what was in your pockets. What? And then she walked off. I for said, real? For real, man. I'm talking about. I was shook. You can't make it up. Oh, man, I can't make this up, bro. It's about four, four times her size. <laughs> hey, I was so confused. I got my chicken. I got in the car. I was like, nigga, we are not coming back here. <laughs> I don't know where she at, but I sure would like to go where she at. Oh, man. man. I, do she be up early? She be up early, late. It yeah. don't matter. I ain't going to lie. We you drive know, down Alameda right now. She might be outside. You know, funny story, she always find my daddy. Because the daddy be always be at Timmy Chan. But she always talking to him. Hey. Boy, she show. Boy, when she go to church, she go to church, she too. She go to church. God, dog. That woman is hilarious, bro. <laughs> she oh, did on the show. Uh, and random. It's, it's, the, it's the randomness that make her... One time Hilarious. I seen her driving a car, I ain't never seen her like that in my life. Uh, oh man, uh, look like uh, a little kid riding, huh? Barely see over the steering wheel at that. Man, y'all got a hell of a culture down here in Houston, man. It's different. It's, it's, it's totally yeah. different, man. Every every car car you turn, turn, man. Say, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Absolutely, thank man. Anytime, say, man, anytime. we ain't we ain't done, man. Uh man, just love, man. And uh, hey. We're going to keep doing this. We yeah. got a lot more work to do. Absolutely. Ooh, Absolutely. You know, I love working. Check it, man. I'm the check it, man. Okay. All right. It's been I'm a great man. segment, man. Hey. Hey. A boss talk. Tell people your, stop it. Oh. Tell people your, uh, how they can get a hold of you on Instagram and Look TikTok. Right here. Okay. Instagram. Ronetta. R O N N E T T A underscore. Same thing on Twitter. On Facebook, Ronetta Denise Spencer. Follow me, I follow back. And I got some crazy content on Instagram too, y'all might like. So, man, you can follow me at DTP D Walk on D Instagram. Walk. You know what I'm saying? Also, you can follow my automotive page because I do that too. It's I mean, um, yeah, we gonna do a whole segment. I'm gonna get that. Oh man, dude, Don't my hey, my automotive is is on another level. We got it's some crazy. work in the progress We're coming really up. Rare. Man, I said um slaughterhouse s l a u g h t a h a u s. And if you didn't catch the h a u s, house, it's the Germans. Okay, shout, shout out to that boy Dunk Master, man. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that I'm boy building some incredible cars. That's my boy. You see hey. him on Boss Talk all the time. Man, hey, the Skittle Pack always look good every time I see them cars roll through. Okay, 
I don't get to see him often, but trust me, that boy is innovative on them big ass wheels. From City to City State Steam. <laughs> Hey man, I'll never forget when he, you know, he was he so my favorite show to watch is Hoonigan, right? He did an episode with Leah Block when they was racing the Hoonicorn, man, gave that girl the gapple sauce. Yeah, 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 sauce. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bottle. yeah. Man, bro, I, I look up to these people, man. These are like my idols in the industry, you know what I'm saying? So I've been watching Donk Master for a long time. Back Rucci, when he Rucci was get your coochie. Yeah, yeah. Rucci <laughs> get your coochie. Right? <laughs> Rucci get your coochie, man. Y'all all make day sure y'all check that out. <laughs> So he manages me on the music. I manages him on the cars. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's a, it's a, it's, boy. It's well, he difficult to manage though. I bet. I, I bet. Lie. I, I got he be throwing car. Bro. He be call, He be throwing car tantrums. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got an addiction, bro. Right now we sitting at somewhere close to about twelve cars. Man. Yeah. yeah they, they. Yeah. And got another one on the way. <laughs> Man, yeah. check it, man. Hey, man, but that's another story for another day. Check it, man. We're going to park them things out here and talk about them one day, man. Yeah. Hey, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel, man. I, I say that now a lot. Y'all need to hey. come on with it, man. Come on with it, man. Come on with it, man. My boy sound like a real YouTuber right now. Like and subscribe to Boss Talk 101 podcast. All so right? Like, share, comment. There hey, it don't is. Don't play with him. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Sheep.